I'm just setting everything. <clears throat> what you were saying, Kate? You said luck. I say it's karma. It's my karma, yes. Yes, it is our karma. We are learning from the teachings of great masters. And this master lived around thousand, you know, eight hundred years ago. His name is Vidyaranya. So, why Vidyaranya? What is the meaning? The forest of knowledge and wisdom. Forest means that he has written more than 50,000 pages, more many books, commentaries on almost every text. So he says that knowledge very good. So the text written by this master, uh, the name of this master is Vidyaranya. So what is the meaning of Vidyaranya? Is the forest of knowledge. This guy lived in abject poverty and then he started meditating, learning the tradition. It took him a couple of years. He reached to the highest state. And when he reached to the highest state, people recognized him and he became the minister in one of the kingdom in uh, South India. But main thing is he's known as the forest of knowledge. Forest of knowledge means the Vidyaranya. So he says that uh, we need to understand knowledge, understanding, clarity is there. With that understanding and clarity, we can live in the highest state of mindfulness 24 by 7. So based on the, his teaching, we are learning together how much wealth you have spent until now. I can also use how much body you have spent now. Kate, mom is there. How much food we have eaten. And still the body is declining, becoming old. You take 50 food supplement and still the body has to. <laughs> you see, the understanding is required. Nothing else in meditation and mindfulness. We take, we may take energy pills, but still the body gets exhausted. Think, think. We have to think of it. We get exhausted. So why I said so, how much consciousness is spent by you since birth? That is the question. How much awareness you have spent until date? Ah, 
consciousness is not subjected by the time, no spending, not subjected by the change, no modification. That is our real nature. <laughs> what a beautiful way this master talks about it. It blows, you know, the mind. So now come to the same three mental states. We, ha <coughs> we have been spending waking state, sleeping state, and dreaming. Because we have been living, passing through the waking, sleeper, and dreamer. How you see that we are spending waking, sleeper, sleeping, and dreaming state? It only demands understanding. From that understanding, we are settled in our real nature. That is what the mindfulness or meditation is. Let us go a little deeper. When we say, I am a waker, what it means? The waking state means I'm spending body, sense organ, mind, intellect, ego. They are all available for transaction in a waking state, isn't it? And because the mind is perceiving something, it is thinking, it is acting, so we are spending all. So where you see that you are spending or changing, it is not me. So when I say I'm a dreamer, I'm still using the mind, working in a different plane. Mind is available for transaction. Transaction means spending, <clears throat> using. When I say I'm sleeper, body, body, senses, mind are not available for transaction, but still, <clears throat> in during sleep, all the physiological, biochemical, neurological actions are taking place. Who we are, we are consciousness that is not available for transaction. That is not subjected by change. That is not subjected by time. So what is not subjected by the time is timeless. So that is why we say real self is timeless. That is why we say mindfulness is transcending the time. You see the clarity. Check this clarity of understanding this master brings us. He says, you are real self. You are not subjected by the time, so you are timeless. Which is not subjected by the time, is timeless. Mind is subjected by the time, body is subjected by the time, sense organs. Eh? You look at it. Wealth, oh, wealth is subjected by the time. That's why I ask you how much money you have spent until date. that. So when we live into that awareness, which is not subjected, means which is not affected, which is not available for transaction in time, in place, and with the objects, is the highest state of mindfulness. Where it is? It is here and now. It is here and now. Think in that term. The moment the body is available for transaction, I spend the body. 
I'm not the body. Sense organs, I'm not the sense organs. Mind, I'm not the mind. I'm not the intellect. I'm not the ego. Then who am I? What is not subjected by the time? What is not subjected by the time, place, objects? So I asked you the question, how much consciousness you have spent since birth until date? It cannot be spent. It cannot be misused. It cannot be used. Why? It is not subjected by the time. And if it is not subjected by the time, it is timeless. What is timeless is me, is real self. Discovery of that real self is mindfulness. This is what we are huh? understanding from this master. So now question is that when I when the master says, I am peace and happiness, love and wisdom, that is real self, but I don't experience it. What is the problem? Problem is the mind. The waking state, the sleep state and the dream states are mental states. It is not me. If I am a waker alone and the waker does not know the dream and the sleep state, but I still exist in the sleep and the dream state. Isn't it? You cannot say I am a sleeper, so I am no more. I still exist. So what exists? Consciousness. What exists? Real self. So can we separate the real self from the waker, from the sleeper, from the dreamer? How to separate? Can you separate it physically? <laughs> no. I have to separate in my head by the knowledge. I have to separate it. Huh? Within my mind, the same mind that is causing the problem, I have to separate in the mind. Then I live into that state of awareness. I'm already there in the state of mindfulness. I believe you are getting it. This master starts all his text. It doesn't talk that whether you are a seeker or not. He takes for granted that you are a seeker. That is why you are studying this text. So we know the self-inquiry. We know what is discernment. We know what is discretion. We know what is mental, emotional dependence. And we are free from them. And then we start the journey in this. Take another example. <clears throat> there are three buckets of water. And the sun is reflected in three buckets. Don't look at the sun, only look at the buckets. So you have three suns. One is waker, second is sleeper, third is sleeper. Look at it. Look at the clarity and understanding. So as long as I do not see the reality, I continue to see the reflected consciousness. What did I say? I only see the reflection. Consciousness is there. Means the sunlight is there. Sunlight is there, but sun is not there. Huh? 
I'm going deeper, slow, step by step. What it means? Consciousness is there. That manifests the waker state. The consciousness is there. That manifests the dreaming state. Consciousness is there. That manifests the sleeper state. No, no, I, okay, by this example, you are all right, but still I don't see the real self. So what is happening, because waking state is a mental state, it is superimposed on the real self. That is why we don't see the real self. Why? By the wrong notion that I'm a waker, I'm a sleeper, I'm a dreamer. Did you get it? The waking state is superimposed on the real self. Then I say, this is what I am. The dreaming state is superimposed on the real self. That is what I am. No, I slept soundly. I, that I is not a sleeper. That I is the real self and the sleeper, sleeping state is, belongs to the mind. What a beautiful way. The more you reflect on it and you see, oh yes, it appears so. And gradually, when you are settled into that, then it is an irreversible process. You have removed that wrong notion. You have removed the ignorance from the mind. Then you realize that I am real self, timeless, spaceless, objectless, objectless state of the mind is known as meditation. Because I identify myself with that. Identification? What is that identification? Pick up the word from the earlier sessions on Mondays and first. It is a sense of emotional dependence. I am, I am, whether you are present before me or I am, whether you are not present before me. Did you understand that? Nobody is there. Where the I am is, I am still there. You all are there. I am is still there. Did you get it? The world is not there, sleeping state. <laughs> I am still there. The world is before me. I am still there. Are you getting it? I'm only explaining the first three verses and then we will go a little deeper. Whether I am aware of you or not, awareness is. Are you clear? Whether you are aware of the body or not, awareness is. Are you getting it? That consciousness is always behind. That is always present. If you say absence of consciousness, I don't exist. Did you get it? 
So this, that is why we say the mind has to go inside. What is the meaning of mind going inside? The word outside is there, but how do I know this word is present? You are present, Vavhav is present, Stephen is present, and you all are present. Mind, behind the mind, consciousness is there. That consciousness is borrowed by the mind. Then the sense organs borrows the mind, and that's how I know the name. That is why I said this world is, is, I am still there. Word is not, I am. That is the sleeping stage. The body is not, but the mind is there in the dreaming state, I am. So that I am is a common in sleeping, waking, and Dream state. That I am is consciousness, and that I am is the real self, and that real self is peace, happiness, love, and wisdom. That we are going to understand in the fourth or the fifth verse. But we have to contemplate. I have been telling you that Saturday's meditation, you just sit on a lazy boy chair eyes are open and closed and then you reflect contemplate think along these lines check where the mind reaches i know something consciousness is that is how i know right now I say I don't know anything, but consciousness tells me that I don't know. Are you aware of that? It's not very deep, but just aware. I don't know consciousness is. I know consciousness is. Means I can say, huh? the word is, I am. The word is not, I am. No thought, no knowledge of an object, no object, consciousness is. How can you say, how do I know, for example, how do I know that brandy is not there because of consciousness? And how do I know brandy is here? Consciousness. Do you see that? Reflect on this. I am consciousness. This master blows our mind. It says, oh, I am consciousness. That is peace and happiness. That we will cover next time, next uh, couple of the sessions. So what happens, last time we, we said, that now take an example of uh, Stephen is an object for me. I know Stephen is a thought. I know Stephen, there is a knowledge in it. But they all are supported by the consciousness. You remove the consciousness. Can I speak anything? Can I say that I know Stephen? Can I recognize the Stephen as a person? Answer is no. So every transaction in the world, whether you say, I hate you, I love you, I divorce you, I marry you, do whatever you say. Every transaction has four things in common. Without object, you cannot have a transaction. So, object is required, right? 
then thought is required. So the knowledge in the thought is required. That knowledge is also known as awareness experience. And the consciousness is required. We have many objects, so we have many thoughts. Every thought has different knowledge <clears throat> behind consciousness is only one. Not subjected by time, hence it is timeless. Not subjected by space, so it is spaceless. It is objectless, objectless state of the mind is mindfulness. It is here and now. Without real self, I cannot do any transaction in the world. And the problem is the mind, the mind covers, mind lives in that. That is what we say, ignorance, false notion. That is what we give different names, delusion, illusion, wrong ideas. That is why we compare water in the mirage. That is why we compare blueness of the sky. One more point that in a waking state, let us explore a little deeper the waking, waker state. We have five gateways of knowledge. Sight, sound, smell, taste, and touch. So, you become aware of this beard guy at the same time become aware of your eyes who is knowing this shape and the size and then ask a question to your eyes eyes are you conscious can you see this beard guy eyes are made up of chemicals and the material they are inert they cannot see go a little deeper Now see that any object outside cannot know sense organ. I know this is the remote, but can the remote know my eyes? So I go back. This is the movement of the mind inside. It can happen here and now. Okay. Now my eyes, can my eyes know the mind? No. But mind knows all the five sense organs. Do you see that? You need to simply become aware of it. You need not to practice anything. Because the moment you do the practice, you destroy everything. This is what the master says. So you see that Eastern wisdom has different approaches and one approach discards the other approach completely why depending on the level of seeking depending on the temperament of a person so now so what we have done we have we step back object is there i step back who sees the object my eyes for example now who sees the my who sees the eyes the mind here up to this level. Do you see the mind? Yes, because I know. My mind is wandering. My mind is upset. I know. I know. Isn't it? Who sees this mind? The way I sees you or your eyes sees this guy. The mind sees your eyes. And I have a daily experience. I'm happy. It's a good morning. It's a bad morning. It's uh, mind is upset. Mind is happy. Who knows all this? Real self. 
behind the mic. Anything that I know <gasps> should be in front. You should be in front to see you. The mind knows the eyes. My, the eyes should be in front of the mind. I'm not talking of rocket science. I'm talking of simple awareness. Simple awareness, not talking of rocket science, how to make an atomic bomb. So now, if eyes, object is in front of the eyes, so I know the object, I know you. Eyes are in front of the mind, so I know the eyes in the sense organs. Mind is in front of the real self. That's how I know that I am upset. My mind is upset. My mind is doing this. And that is why we say this mind superimposes waking state, sleep state, dream state. And the real self hides behind and we miss the practice. Keep smiling, it's not a serious issue. So let us start our practice. Hi, sir. <laughs> 